Hey guys, it's Tom from Resale America, where my YouTube channel is Liquidation Motivation, where we are flipping Florida all day long. Listen, I am the granddaddy of the modern flipper, okay? I started flipping right when eBay came out. I'm an eBay and Amazon expert. Um, you know, I call myself the grandfather of, of the flipping world, but I met a guy who's a lot older than me, and he still uses a notebook, and, uh, you know, he writes everybody's name down and calls me whenever he gets a deal. He probably is the grandfather. His name is John, so shout out to John in Tampa. But he doesn't use eBay, and he's crazy. So in this video, I am going to give you, I am going to show you how to make money, my top nine tips how to make money in electronics. Tip number one, you see an item like this, which is a Sony Blu-ray DVD player at the Salvation Army for $7.99, do you buy it? Do you buy it? And the answer is yes. Even though it doesn't have the speakers, it doesn't have the cords or the remote, you still buy it. One thing you need to know is when you look at the back of electronics that have like these color-coded spots here, that means that they have a cord that is specific to that piece. So you just can't hook any universal speaker up to it. You have to find the speakers and the plugins, otherwise it's useless. But why is this worth the $7.99 when they sell them at Salvation Army or Goodwill? It's because somebody might have the same unit, but this part breaks, so they want to replace it. If you look on eBay right now, so this is Sony model BDV N790W. It's selling between $50 and $100 on eBay. So this is a definite buy. Remember, pick up single part electronics and sell them on eBay. Number two, tip number two on how to buy electronics. Look for DVD VHS players like this one here. So DVD VHS players aren't really being sold anymore in their new retail stores, so people have to go to the used market to buy them. Uh, the best DVD players are always the name brand, Sony, Magnavox, any of the higher at Mitsubishi. All right? But when you look at them, this is a real big tip here, a real big thing to remember. If you're going to buy a DVD player, make sure, see if it's rewritable. Then you know it's going to be a home run. Like this one is rewritable. So a regular VHS DVD player on eBay might sell for $50 to $100. On Amazon will sell for $100 to $200. But these rewritable ones will go between three, four, five hundred dollars $500. So always buy the DVD, VHS players, and look for the rewritable discs. Tip number three when you're buying electronics, look for power amplifiers. This power amplifier here is made by Sony. It's a great big heavy unit. It is missing a knob, which I can get out of one of my old units here. It's model number DA333ES. All right. One trick to know if it's a power amplifier is to see the knobs on the back because this means it takes heavy duty speaker wire. Whenever you see these knobs, it's normally a higher quality amp and you definitely want to pick them up. I normally find these amps at Goodwill Salvation Army. Yard sales are a great place to find electronics. You can pick them up for 10 to 30 or $40. And when you look them up on eBay, this one right here sells for $250 on eBay. Amazon does a lot more. All right, tip number four, look for rack mountable Stuff that a rack is a display that maybe a DJ or, or a studio is going to put one of these pieces of equipment in and screw it in. Those are what, what is called a rack. So look for rack mountable equipment because it's normally commercial grade and it's a lot better quality than you will find for your residential electronics. For example, this amp right here is an Accio Mac mountable amp. Once again, we're looking for the speaker cables in the back, higher end, higher quality. We picked this one up at a yard sale for $20. On eBay, it's selling between $150 and $200, and on Amazon, it's going for $250. Tip number five of how to buy and profit from electronics. Look for old CB equipment here. So these are like CB equipment, two-way radios, with the way they used to communicate in the 60s, 50s, and 60s. These can get super, super, super expensive. People would spend thousands and thousands of dollars to, and build out a room in their house so they can talk with people all over the country with these radios, and they are in huge demand right now. But I think the demand is waning because the generation that use these are, are dying off, but it, right now is the time to buy them and sell them and flip them. For example, this one right now on eBay, so this is a Kenwood model TS-4. 
570S. Look it up on eBay, it sells for $400. All right, tip number six, record players. Now this record player is not in very good shape, so I just brought it out to give you an example. I went to Walmart today, and they are selling records again, right? My kids, ages, they're teenagers, and they have record players in their bedroom. They love the old media. They are buying record players. Record players are in high demand right now. If you can find a high-quality Kenwood or Techniques record player from back in the 80s and 90s, they have incredible value, incredible demand. Buy them, pick them up, and resell them. Tip number seven, reel-to-reel -reel recorders. So if you watch my past video on, on collectibles, what people collect, you'll realize that you have your most earning potential in your 50s. So if you do the math backwards, it's people that grew up in the 60s and 70s. So they're looking to replace the stuff they had in their childhood and they're searching the market because they have the expendable income to buy these things. So real to real players are super, super popular right now. This reel to reel here we picked up for $50 and it sells on eBay for $400. This one right here is an Akai 4000 DS. This sells for about $300. Uh, you always look for the reels whenever you can get them, the music that's on them. Sell them together, sell them in a kit, but remember reel to reels, you might have to replace the belts in some of them, but reel to reels are super popular. All right, tip number eight, vintage audio. Look up vintage audio, high-end brand names, things that you never heard of before. So how I would do it is I would go to eBay, I type in vintage amplifier, sort it by sort completed items, and then go from highest to lowest, and recognize the brands that are in there. Recognize the brands that are bringing in all the dollar value, all the money. All right, one time my favorite story is I bought a Macintosh amp at an auction. It was a nightclub that went out of business. I sold the amp on eBay. I bought it for $200. I sold the amp on eBay for $2,800 about a week later. But the amp weighed like 200 pounds. I boxed it extra special, put insurance on it, shipped it out UPS. UPS dropped the amp. So when, it, when the buyer received it, he sent it back to me. So I filed an insurance claim. UPS gave the buyer the $2,800 for the claim and then I resold the amp again on eBay for $1,800. So vintage audio is fantastic. These are Bose, these are classic Bose speakers. They're the Bose 2.2 right and left speaker. Uh, these we picked up at a yard sale I think for $10 and right now they're selling for about $80 on eBay. Remember, vintage audio is huge. It's a huge category. You have to be educated on that category. Tip number nine, look at this. I was shocked when I saw this. This is a 200 disc CD player. My, my eBay manager came to me and said he sold one of these a little while ago for $150 on eBay, and I was shocked. I said, who are buying those? But certainly they have a huge demand in the market. This beautiful one's a 400 disc DVD player, CD player with the remote. Remotes are always important whenever you're buying stuff. If you're gonna sell it on Amazon, I recommend you order the remote from maybe eBay to match it up with the, with the, uh, with the piece of equipment that you're selling. But, D CD players, multi-disc CD players. We this one going on eBay right now is two hundred and fifty dollars, and on Amazon it's four hundred and fifty dollars. So I put it on Amazon. I'm going to do a slow play on it. Somebody will buy it probably during Christmas time. But this is a great example of how you can make money in electronics. So remember, electronics is a fantastic way to make money in the flipping world. If you're gonna get into electronics, I recommend you clean it up really nice. You blow it out, you test it, you make sure it's perfectly clean. Throw in some AV cables, make sure the remote's with it. Um, package it up so it can't be damaged in transit. Electronics, there, there's so much money out there in, 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 in electronics from the 80s, from the 90s, modern electronics, that you have to start buying and selling electronics. All right, I'm Tom from Resale America in the Lakeland Square Mall, where we're open 10 to 8, Monday through Saturday, and a 12 to 6 on Sunday. Uh, Liquidation Motivations, my channel. Please like and subscribe. Please, please, please like and subscribe. And now go out there and make some money.